Hello, I'm Peter Gordon. I'm a chef and a restaurateur and a food writer, and I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin and chickpea soup, which is something that I find in winter, and especially when there's lots of pumpkins around, is a delicious thing to be able to make. It's got butter, leeks, white fleshed onions, chopped ginger and garlic, saffron, nutmeg, chives, which are part of the garnish, chickpeas, Parmesan cheese, but any good, lovely, tasty cheese works well. Diced pumpkin, you can use butternut as well. Vegetable stock or chicken stock. Sour cream and double cream. So first of all, you just want to melt your butter. So once the butter's sizzling, you want to add your leeks, onions, ginger and garlic. So a handy hint is add a little bit of salt to your onions while they're cooking. And what this does is it draws the moisture out of the onions themselves and they're less likely to catch or burn on the bottom. So they, they kind of cook in a moist environment. And now that it's all beginning to cook, just put the lid on and just give it a stir every few minutes. So this is looking really nice. So they're not overly coloured, which is not what I want. But nice and soft though, the onions and the leeks garlic and the ginger. So I'm going to add my pumpkin, which has just been peeled, seeds removed and diced. Some saffron, and if you don't have saffron, don't panic. Uh, you can use turmeric as well. You're really just trying to get a lovely colour. As you can see, the pumpkin itself has got a gorgeous colour to it. And then I've got some veggie stock. Just give that a good stir. Then I'm going to bring that to the boil, cook it with the lid on until the pumpkin is just cooked. So to test if it's cooked, just push a little bit of the pumpkin against the side of the pan with your spoon, and if you can do that easily, then it's ready to mash. Lower the temperature just a little bit. And then using a potato masher, just squash the pumpkin. It doesn't have to be a smooth puree. You want this to be a really nice, chunky, sort of comforting soup. And you'll see that I'm going to add cooked chickpeas, uh, which gives it a nice chunkiness as well. So once most of the pumpkin's been squashed a little bit, and then your double cream. Stir it all together. Add plenty of ground black pepper. Lots of pepper. Put your pepper in. Turn the heat back up. Put your lid back on. And you want to simmer this for about 10 minutes or so, and it's just enough to warm the chickpeas through and bring all of those flavours together. And now it's time to finish seasoning the soup. And for that, I'm going to use salt and nutmeg. So just give it a bit of a stir. Grate in some nutmeg goes really well with pumpkin, a bit of salt, lower the temperature a little bit, stir in the cheese. Now I've got grated parmesan but you could use cheddar or feta, gouda, anything in the fridge, even um, some leftover blue cheese. So don't stress too much if you haven't got parmesan cheese. Give it a good stir so all the cheese is melding with the pumpkin and the chickpeas and then ladle this into very hot bowls. And then to finish the soup, just dollop in some sour cream. And snip on a few chives. Just use your scissors. And there you have it. This is a really lovely winter soup using pumpkin or squash, chickpeas, saffron, and then it's garnished with sour cream and chives.